look at that lava flow just swooping around. That is magnificent. Hey everybody, so pop quiz. Before we go out on an adventure today and go exploring, I wanna ask you all, how many recognize this specific land feature? It probably looks familiar. Maybe you saw it in a geology textbook in college, or maybe you remember it from earth science back in high school. Well, chances are you have seen it before. It's a very famous volcanic cinder cone called SP Crater, and it's located out here in northern Arizona, about 40 miles north of Flagstaff, and it is quite literally a textbook example of a volcanic cinder. It's, it's featured in, in geology books. Uh, the professors here in the geology department will take students up there to map the, the, the lava flow. I mean, it has such a beautifully preserved flow. And, but that's not the only reason that it's very well known. It's also well known because of its goofy name. So the name of this particular feature is called SP Crater. But what does the SP stand for, right? I mean, it's, is it somebody's initials? Is it Scott Patterson or something? No. So it's actually a lot less flattering than that. So the particular landowner who owned the land that SP Crater was on back in the late 1800s thought that the feature, because of its shape, reminded him of a chamber pot, or basically a toilet uh, in the late 1800s. And not only did he think that the shape reminded him of a chamber pot, but the fact that there was this big, dark lava flow on the ground on the north side of the, of the, the crater um, also made it seem like someone had used the chamber pot and had a little explosion of their own, as it were. So a messy chamber pot, we'll say. Well, instead of naming the feature chamber pot crater or CP crater, he decided to use the um, not so family friendly version of chamber pot, which at the time people referred to as a shit pot. So this particular feature is actually called, its official name is shit pot crater. Not kidding, look it up. There's a whole wiki page dedicated to it. It's on Atlas Obscura. It is honestly one of the goofiest things, but also speaks to the sense of humor of geologists. Obviously you can't put that in print. You can't put shit pot crater on maps and in textbooks. So it has henceforth been just dubbed SP Crater. All that is to say, we are gonna go out and explore SP Crater because you can climb right to the top of it and it is in such a cool area of Northern Arizona. You get north of the, the San Francisco peaks and it's just this vast wasteland, this desolation that's just peppered with these little volcanic cinder cones. And it's just remarkable. It's, it's hard to explain without seeing it in person, but it, it truly is otherworldly. So I wanna get up there on the Himalayan, take a bunch of back roads, basically park right at the base of SP Crater and scramble up all the way to the top of it onto the rim and get some really cool footage up there. Footage down of the lava flow, footage into the crater uh, itself, the caldera at the top. Just foot, footage everywhere. It's gonna be awesome. I, I've heard that the climb up the side of the, the crater is really steep and scree covered and sketchy. And so it's gonna be a bear getting up that thing, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So let's stop talking and let's go explore SP Crater. All right, we got the bike fired up and we are ready to get moving. There we go. Man, it is a beautiful day. <laughs> All right. Off to, uh, off to explore <laughs> Shit Pot <on> Crater. <laughs> Good times. All right, we're on our way. That's that's Peak Crater. I do wish I would have brought my earplugs. I forgot to put them in and boy, that was a really loud ride on the highway there. Um, I can't stress that enough to all you out there. Don't mess around with your ears. 
I have some pretty bad tinnitus um, from some poor decisions in my youth. <laughs> we'll say. So please, 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 please wear your earplugs. There's a half marathon race they put on every year up here. It's really fun. You run right up and over the saddle of SP Crater. So I've, I've run down this road before. I feel like we're, we're riding on the moon here. This is <laughs> quite desolate. Oh man. But also very special. I don't know, it's just, it's hard to explain. There's nothing out here. <laughs> it's just a barren wasteland with all these little cinder cones and volcanic uh, craters just popping up like pimples in the landscape. These are all ranch lands out here and so there's, uh, there you go, there's the, <laughs> the cows. Um, so this is all part of what's known as Babbitt Ranch and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I didn't think I'd be dodging cows today, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Always an adventure on the Himalayan. Oof, some big cows, big bulls. Ah, they're all <laughs> at the beer can, that's great. They're all hanging out by the watering hole. It definitely smells like cows. Oh yeah. See you guys. <laughs> Look at how the peak is just poking up through that, to the hillside over there. Man, that's cool. What are you doing out here all by yourself, buddy? This is a really fun road. Uh, yeah. Wow, I'm having some, some fun out here. All right, let's see if we can't find a good place to park. Somewhere right at the base of the climb. Oh, this is really getting loose. Oof. That was a little sketchy in there. Beautiful. Look at that. That's magnificent. Oh yeah, super. Let's get up top and see what she looks like. Oh man, that is so wild. Okay, we're parked here at SP Crater. We're gonna make the hike up to the saddle and then up to the summit. That is a sweet view of the bike though. Look at that, parked right in front of the volcanic cinder cone. Man, that's cool. And then it's just nothing. Absolutely nothing. Very cool. All right, time for the <laughs> steep climb up the mountain. I totally could have come, gone closer on the bike. I don't know why I parked there. Could have easily made it up to this next flat spot, but that is really wild, isn't it? Every one of these little hills is basically another little volcanic cinder cone. Cool, let's get up there. Yeah, this is a tough climb and it gets even steeper just right up here. This is definitely the steepest little section right here. Whew, need to get your blood flowing for sure. Whew, I'm sliding around. Oh man, you can just see the peaks poking up behind that caldera or the crater over there. It almost looks like a landscape you'd see in Dr. Seuss or something. Look at that one cow down there, you see that? <laughs> just hanging out. This is where the run continued on and went down the other side, but we still got to go up that goat path, <laughs> which looks stupid steep and scramble our way up to the top. Whew. 
yeah, let's let's go for it. <sighs> Maybe get a drink of water first. I'm baking out here in the sun. Gosh, look at that. That's still quite a ways. I'm gonna say that's probably still four or five hundred feet of climb, and it is gonna be sloppy. Oh yeah. Sloppy indeed. Very loose. Oh, it's just getting steeper too. We're just coming up on the rim. That's what we climbed up. Holy crap. Yeah, that was not an easy climb. All right. And now for the reveal. <laughs> wow. How cool. That is definitely a crater. Let's go around to the front and take a look at that lava flow. It's gonna look really sweet. Wow. Gosh, it almost looks like, that almost looks like petrified wood, doesn't it? Just because of how the laminations almost look like tree rings. Wow. Yeah, I think that was more like six or 700 feet of climb. That was not a trivial amount. Hi, buddy. that man that's so cool what's hanging buddy here's the view now you see why they use this in textbooks look at that lava flow just swooping around that is magnificent <laughs> they, they built this road right through the lava flow that's funny and you gotta really get a sense of how deep the crater is here too. And it, it's really far down, a couple hundred feet for sure. There's our lizard friend. He's still hanging out on that rock. Hey buddy, wanna smile for the camera? <laughs> Look at him go. Get that beautiful cup of espresso. Mm. Yeah. Not a bad view. Holy, holy heck. Shit pot crater in all of its magnificent glory. <laughs> oh, good times. Even if you're not into geology, the geosciences, this is just freakishly cool. <laughs> oh, man, it's just one wild ride. I think I just found our trail right here. Yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna ski on down. Uh, woo. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, can't slow down. I think we made it. Uh. Oh. <laughs> we just made it down that whole mountain in like two minutes. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Do I still have both water bottles? Yes. Let's hope I have the keys. That would be tragic. What a wild place. It really does feel like I'm a million miles from anybody, except for that cow. 
Okay, so I'm gonna get suited up, um, swap the battery out, and we'll make the trip uh, back home. Back home we go. <laughs> wow, that was so cool. See you later, SP Crater. What a what a just magnificent landscape. Don't have anything like this back east, that's for sure. Oh, we've got a, ourselves a cow friend right in the middle of the road here. was bizarre <laughs> there was people trimming trees and I almost just got hit by a felled tree <laughs> wow I think our battery is about to expire here, so I think I'm probably just gonna sign off. We're, we're pulling into Flagstaff here, and then it's just a little bit of urban drive back to the house. So thanks so much for, for joining along. That was a cool spot. I'm so glad I checked that out. I, I didn't particularly enjoy that climb up the, the side of the, the, <laughs> the crater, but uh, the payoff was worth it, and, and man, what a what a just a delightful day uh, out there in the middle of the high desert. So, yeah, thanks a lot, and I will check back in when I get home. So, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back home in the kitchen after another successful adventure. This time we went out to SP Crater, and it was everything that I had hoped it would be, and more. What a awesome place to go visit. Uh, that scramble was absolutely brutal to the top. I'm not going to lie. Uh, with the sun beating down like that, it was tough. It was really tough, but totally worth it. The, the rim up at the top, the, the, the views from up there, the pictures, seeing down on that beautiful lava flow and just hanging up, uh, hanging out up there, drinking a little coffee. Oh, it was just, man, it was perfect. So what a cool way to spend a day. Um, yeah. And I really, I, I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. You know, I, I feel like I've only lived in Flagstaff now for almost two years, and I still feel like I've only just scratched the surface here. There's so many cool places in this area. I feel like I can put my finger down anywhere on the map, and basically it's a cool place to go explore. So I, you know, I, I'm just thrilled. It seems like I could just go anywhere and have an adventure out of it. So anyway, thank you so much for coming along for the ride, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And take care, and of course, be safe. And wear your earplugs, please. My ears are still ringing, so wear your earplugs. All right, see y'all.